This week's Torah portion is Parshat Beshalach. Beshalach means sending out. It says, Vayehi Beshalach Paro et Ha'am. And it was when Pharaoh sent out the people. So metaphorically speaking, Pharaoh sending out the Israelites is like when we are sent out of our inner bondage by the experience of suffering. We don't like the suffering, so we're motivated to find spiritual freedom. And if you want spiritual freedom, there's a really fast and direct way to get it. Just come into this moment as it is, without resistance. That's the practice of presence. But then it says, Velo nacham Elohim derech eretz pelishtim ki karov hu. God didn't lead them on the road to the land of the Philistines, which was closer, because when they encounter battle with the Philistines, they might get scared and want to go back to Egypt. And this is the obstacle that many people get caught in when they're doing spiritual work. You start practicing presence, and then all of a sudden all this inner pain comes up. All of your psychological issues and resistances, and rather than be motivated by all that suffering, you'd rather go back to your old strategies. Maybe it's easier just to drink some wine and watch a movie. At that point, you need something even deeper to keep you on track. And that's the power of faith hinted at in the phrase, ki karov hu. In the plain sense, this simply means ki karov hu, which was close. Referring to the road in the land of the Philistines, which would have been the closer path for the Israelites to take. But the word hu is also a divine name. Karov means close, but it can also mean intimate, connected. So on this deeper level, it's saying that the divine is present on the road of battle, that is, the experience of deep suffering. So have faith in that, because at first, you won't experience it. You'll experience pain, but still you should know, ki karov hu, beneath the suffering is that spacious, openness and wholeness of this moment, which is actually not separate from your own presence, from your own consciousness. And you can access this presence simply by being present, that is by being karov, by coming close to your actual experience in this moment, especially in suffering. Faith and prayer can help you to do that. So as we come close to this Shabbat Beshalach, the Sabbath of sending, may we come close, may we be karov to the reality of our actual experience and allow that truth to send us out from Mitzrayim, from constriction of separation into the wild mystery of presence. Oh.